at the industry needs to thrive, needs to innovate. Um, there are hundreds of millions that are being invested every year and I think we need to provide the environment for the industry to develop so that the consumer and the player will get a better experience. Actually, we'll begin with Brexit. So tell me how all this commotion, what's going on in the UK, is um, uh, the overflow. How is it impacting Malta and what kind of opportunity does it provide for you on the island? It's too early to say how things are going to progress, but I think that Malta is, a, is an attractive jurisdiction and I think if any operator would be considering of moving outside of the UK or outside of JIP, I think Malta can provide an alternative uh, can be an alternative jurisdiction because of its size and obviously reputation in the industry. Tell me what uh, you are working on. How are you going to improve things for operators that are licensed in Malta right now? I think I think it's about uh, s simplifying because the industry has been through through major changes over the last 12 years, and I think the the cost of compliance have increased significantly, particularly in Europe when you are op operating with a state by state kind of regulatory environment. So our idea is that. The regulatory regime needs to be simplified, needs to be focused on objectives rather than focused on prescriptive and expired kind of processes and, and, and regimes. And I think that would give the regulator more flexibility to focus on outcomes and objectives. And the industry will have an environment which enables it to innovate. And, and, and grow sustainably. I know you're also looking into some other geographical regions of regulators to be working with. Can you elaborate on that, please? Yeah, we're always on the lookout. Um, so we are already in, in touch with other regulators in, uh, in the South American region, for example, in Asia. Um, we have established some very good contacts. Nothing has materialized, but I believe that Malta can, can help such, good, such jurisdictions in opening up their markets and legislate as well for them. But also it can provide also um, for Malta other markets which are very big, huge, which go outside of the European outside of the European. That is something I am personally pursuing and I think in the coming months and years I think there will be some interesting developments in that respect.